Welcome to Elevate Yoga. Today we're going to look at Cobra Pose. So you can check out the previous video on Chaturanga and see how we ended up here and we're picking it up right as if you would have landed Chaturanga. So Angelo is going to come down to his stomach. So we talked about the importance when you land Chaturanga that the elbow should draw a line in the heel of the hand. Now the elbows are up to the ceiling and they're pulling towards one another. What you want to use is right here, the rhomboids, and this is so missing in yoga, and this is always why you're rounded, overusing the trap, a lot of other issues. So first thing, I have in a blanket, and you'll see as to why in a second, but people tend to grip their feet and not anchor them. So I always say, how many toes do you have? That's how many toes you should feel. Now, it is your feet being active that should lift up the kneecaps. So when teachers say lift your kneecaps, really, the source of it, what you want to look for is the rooting of the feet. The elbows are up and in. Now, the ugly thing that I see people, I don't allow up dog in my class, but this cobra up dog crap is this. There's just this terrible, my lower back feels jammed. Not yoga, hashtag not yoga. So let's do it quickly. The elbows are going up and in, the feet are anchored, the kneecaps are lifted. What he's going to think about is pulling the heel of the hand back that will lift his chest and that will move the blanket. So he's gonna try that. Good, and then you can think if you did it correctly and this helps anyway, returning back to a chaturanga position and the blanket will move back. However, when I teach this in teacher training, students are like, how? How did you move the blanket forward? Why well, didn't go like this? I pulled, pull the heel, the hand down, lift your chest. So try it again. The blanket moves, there you go. And you push right back. The heel and the elbow and the heel are in a nice line. So pull the heel, the hand back, lift the chest. Go ahead, and that's cobra. So this is what I allow in class. Cobra, the pelvic floor is down, the elbows is bent and really challenges the opening of the chest. I say when you can touch, your feet to your head, then you're allowed to do up dog until you have no business. So one last time, pull the heel of the hand back, lift the chest, there's cobra, and you should be able to move it back, and then it's the start of, the, well, the end of your chaturanga. So just think like you're a mime, give yourself a little story, and you're climbing up. Heel of the hand pulls down, chest lifts, shoulders together. Vinyasas, you do so many of them in a class, so don't overlook these aspects. They're quite important for your foundation. Thanks for practicing. Goodbye.